In this video, we tackle the topic of an interest rate swap where the notional amounts or face values used to compute the coupons varies with each coupon period. Please pause the video, copy these, this information down into your notes and then press play and I'll talk you through it. All right. So we're going to have something called varying notional amounts. So the notional amount or the face value is used to calculate the size of each coupon. And in the past, previous examples, we've always had a fixed face value or a fixed notional amount, uh, capital F. So now we're going to allow that notional amount to vary. And we're going to be using Ford rates as well. So please remember that little f sub i is the I-year forward rate. So this is a one-year interest rate established at time zero to be in effect from time I to one year later, I plus one. Capital F sub I is going to be the face value or the notional amount used to determine the I coupon, right? And to figure out the swap rate, we're going to do what we pretty much always do. We're going to set the fixed rate bond value or price equal to the value or price of the flow rate bond at time zero, all right? So on the left, I've got the price of the fixed rate bond using the swap rate C as the coupon rate. So coupon rate C times the notional amount used for the first coupon, capital X of one, that is the dollar amount of the first coupon, F1 times C, drag it back one year. Second coupon's notional amount is F sub two. So we multiply that by C to get the dollar amount of the second coupon, drag that back two years and continue. There's the nth coupon, drag back then years. And then there's the redemption value, which I don't care about. And I'll say why in a moment, drag back n years. On the right-hand side is the float rate bond price. Again, the first coupon's notional amount and the coupon rate is the, the forward rate in effect during that coupon period. So the first coupon period is from time zero to time one. So F sub, little f sub zero, the forward rate from time zero to time one will be the coupon rate for that first coupon. Drag it back a year. Second coupon, base value used is capital F sub two. The coupon rate is going to be the one year interest rate in effect from time one to time two. That's little f sub one. Drag back two years, all the way up to the end coupon. And here is that same exact redemption value dragged back n years. And I don't care about that value because the two redemption values are the same, dragged back using the same interest rate, so they cancel. So redemptions cancel. On the left, I factor out a C. On the right, I don't do anything. And honestly, I think that's the easiest way to remember formula. So I'm not gonna solve for C in the formula because this leaves me thinking fixed rate price equals float rate price. So for example, we're gonna determine the swap rate of a three-year annual coupon interest rate swap with varying notional amounts. The notional amounts are given to us. First one's 100,000, 80,000, and 60,000. And our forward rates are given to us, F0, F1, and F2. And just to remind you, I've made a little time value diagram of money. F0 takes us from zero to one. F1 takes us from one to two, and F2 takes us from two to three. All right, so I'm gonna set up my formula on the left-hand panel right here. There's my interest rate swap that I'm seeking to obtain. There's my first notional amount, my second notional amount, and my third notional amount, each track back one, two, or three years as the left-hand side of this formula dictates. So on the left, price of the fixed rate bond, less redemption value. On the right, I've got my notional amount times the forward rate in effect from time zero to time one, 5%. So there's the coupon value for the first coupon, drag back one year. Second notional amount with the coupon rate from time one to time two, which is a forward rate, 6%. Third coupon, each drag back two or three years, okay? All right, so here's where we're gonna illustrate how you don't need spot rates at all if you just have forward rates. I mean, using the forward rates, we could construct our spot rates and then do our V spot that way, but we don't need to. So dragging money back with the one-year spot rate, the one-year spot rate is the same as the one-year forward rate, 5%. So we'll drag it back with the 5% interest rate. 
To drag money back two years, I'm going to drag it back from two to one by dividing by 1.06 and from one to zero by dividing by 1.05. So there's the spot squared in the by dividing by 1.05 and 1.06. B spot Q, drag it back from three to two, from two to one, from one to zero using the forward rates provided. All right. These same denominators up here on the right hand side. And all I've done on the right hand side is actually explicitly made clear the coupon size, the dollar value of coupons. First float, big coupon, 100,000 times 5%, $5,000 coupon, then a $4,800 coupon, then a $3,900 coupon. All right. Solving for C yields an interest rate, a swap rate, sorry, of 5.679% for this interest rate swap. 